If you're wondering why Elmer Fudd has a camera strapped to his head, well, that's because you stumbled across the Fight Foods vlog, and it is the Friday before UFC 307. If you don't know what the Fight Foods vlog is, well, we film a vlog for every single UFC pay-per-view. We have a bunch of friends over, we cook some good food, we watch the fights and we do all the things. I don't know what to cook for tomorrow, but I got some people coming over to watch the fight. So I said, you know what? Let me go out into the wilderness, murder some birds, and turn them into food. What I'm thinking we're gonna do is get some doves and make some dove jalapeno poppers. But the step one of that process is get the doves. We gotta go get ourselves some birds. So I haven't done an evening hunt all year, so that's what we're gonna do. My buddy Brian is gonna come pick me up. We're gonna get ready to go. We're gonna head out to the field, hopefully take down some doves, and then we'll clean them up, turn them into poppers, so that tomorrow, when people come over for the fights, we have something to snack on. Let's get ready, let's head out to the field, and let's go teach these birds a lesson. The preacher man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry. Is up and the stock market's down and you're only getting mugged if you go downtown Did my fucking gun jam look at this shit look at this shit god damn it I live back in the woods you see a woman and the kids and the dogs and me I got a first one down oh shit First one down. Shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. I can plow a field all day long. I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn. Make our own whiskey and our own smoke too Ain't too many things these old boys can't do I, 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 I get over here I'm sorry We gotta do this Get the fuck Alright, we got gotcha. you Sorry bud That one took a few shots It's nowhere near us That, Brian. 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 I fucking lit him up, Brian. Ah. Get over here. All right. Sorry. Sorry, this is how you do it. I'm not doing that. Number four, headless. I'm done giving out assists, <laughs> and I'm done giving out courtesy flyby. I hear these fucking geese coming. I don't even have goose rounds. Dude, look at them all. Yeah, they're coming this way. Are they not? Dude, we gotta go. We gotta go. We can't get those. Why not? We're gonna be able to take them down with a fucking dumb shot. Three shots, six shots of the same one? We gotta try. Not the same one. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta try, dude. Hey, raise your hand if your name's Billy. Dude, let's go. There's no fucking dove. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Brian, let's go. Oh, man. What are we gonna do if we get a goose? This is a hard walk for me because I have four doves in my bag weighing me down. Oh, yeah, of course. I got 17 assists. <laughs> Dude, look at them all. We all we have to shoot six rounds at one. We have to be ready. We can't shoot that because we'll be shooting over there. Would you shut the fuck up and let's go over there and figure it out when we get there? I'm uh, stop <laughs> We're not shooting at anything else. <laughs> They're right there. Dude, we're gonna be able to get one. Holy fucking shit. You got fucking, you ready? You ready? Oh, 
Well, we tried. Damn. Yeah, if I would have shot, I would have shot your fucking leg down. Because you were behind me? Yeah, I was trying to I was walking like kids were chasing us. I got too excited. I literally had a knot in my stomach. I'm going to leave this loaded. I'm just going to start ripping these up real quick. Fuck it. Oh! Where are you going to put them in? Just leave them in the back? I got a Ziploc. Prepared hands, dude. See? I got gloves. I got everything. Prepared hands. Uh-oh, do I not have gloves? Shit, unprepared inch. Do you have water for me to wash my hand or no? Yeah? All right, fuck it. Here's how you clean a dove. First, rip the wings off. Okay, this ring doesn't want to come off. There it goes. Then you expose the breast, to what we have here, from the bottom, pull it up, and we're gone. Like my bullets are in there too. <laughs> well, those are your bullets. Yeah, that's right. Oh, great job! You did this one. Uh -huh. Or let it be known that I provided Angelo with how many did you kill? You killed four. 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 So I provided him with three assists. <laughs> Bullshit. He was not even looking. He was looking down at his phone. Hey, Angelo. Those are those dude. aren't assists. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, Bing Bing. As I'm over there at the other. It's called accuracy. <laughs> you wouldn't have even known they were there. I don't have any water. Either. You really don't have any water? No, I just finished. Two fucking seconds ago, you said you had water I could clean my hands. And then I finished it. You can't be serious right now. You're not serious. The first time we did this, I picked up my dead doves like this. <laughs> Dainty fingers. I mean, it's, oh fuck. It's disgusting. Now I'm a real man. Shoink. Done. Ugh. It's a murder scene. What is happening, dude? It's a fucking Ziploc bag. I know. It's off. Oh, come on. It's 9.15 on Saturday morning. Normally, at 9.15 on a Saturday morning, we'd be scrambling. Go get your cheer stuff. Get your soccer ball. Did you get your water? Are you ready to go? And we have to run to the field to play all the kids' sports. But luckily, or unluckily, because we will be out in the Texas heat of the day, my kids don't have cheerleading or soccer until this afternoon, which means I have the morning to do what I want to do, an Angelo morning. I did start that morning off by finalizing UFC Vegas 98 stuff. That's the Tatsuro Tyra versus Brandon Royval card. That's ready to go. The website's ready to flip after tonight's UFC 307. But what I'm gonna try to do now is squeeze in some jujitsu rolls. Saturday used to be a no-gi day, but they got rid of no-gi. I think it was just because it was me and a couple other dudes that liked it. Everybody else wants to do gi. And I hate the gi. I hate the bathroom. It's constricting. It's brutal. I hate everything about it, but it is what it is. We got to take advantage of the opportunities we have. And if the only opportunity I have to get some rolls in and to lose a couple of pounds is to wear this ridiculous bathrobe, then that's what we're going to do. So let's get suited up, head over to Aguilera's in Prosper and get some rolls in. Figure out what we're cooking. Probably going to do some jalapeno poppers. We only got four doves, so we didn't have enough to uh, feed a family, but we have enough for the boys. So let's get suited up. Head over to Jiu Jitsu, get those rounds in, and then kids sports the rest of the day. Well, that sucked. I absolutely hate the game. And it's important, and I got a great workout in, you can see how beat up I am, but I just hate the gi, I hate the grips and all the nonsense. It does help you though. If you've never trained jujitsu, most people start with gi and then either go to no gi or just stick with gi forever, but nobody really starts with no gi. Nowadays it's getting a little more common, but when I started this 20 something years ago, nobody did no gi and they wouldn't even promote your belt. You saw when I packed my bag, I'm a blue belt. I got my blue belt in 2004. And I've been inconsistent, so by no means am I saying I should be higher than that, but the reality was at the time it was no belt promotions unless you do gi. Times have changed a little bit. You can work your way up with just a no gi, but I hate the gi, but every time I do it, I'm like, all right, I did need that. It is helpful. You're way more aware of where things are because people can just grab onto the lapel and stuff like that, but that was a beating. It's 1130. 
We gotta go home. I have to prep the dove. I don't know who's coming tonight. I got a text message from one neighbor saying I'm not gonna make it. Jacob's flippy floppy. I don't think he's coming, that absolute turd dork. I think Bo will be coming, but I don't know who else is coming, but I'm still gonna try to make these jalapeno poppers. Let me go home and uh, wash off the, the guilt, the shame, the blood, the sweat. There were no tears. I'm not a crybaby. But we'll get cleaned up, make sure we don't get any ringworm, and then get the rest of this day going. I'm excited for these fights. Main event. Poetons never really been in a boring fight. Co-main event, that could be the worst fight we've ever seen, or the bad blood could really bring some excitement out. There's a whole bunch of matchups on that card that make for an exciting night. So let's go back, let's get washed up, and let's just continue on with this day and prepare for fight night. Tiff, don't say anything stupid I'm about the film, okay? All right, thank you so much. This day is getting away from me. We're about to spend a few hours in a soccer field sweating our tits off. So before we go do that, I have to head to the grocery store. We have to get stuff to make these poppers. I need some cream cheese. I need some jalapenos. We need all sorts of other stuff to get that going. So let's head over to the store. Let's stock up on everything we need for tonight and then get this day going. Eat some poppers, watch some fights, and enjoy the rest of this night. Down the highway, down my regrets. I've been driving for miles and miles and miles I can't see where it is I've been trying to find ways To tell you how I feel yeah. But I can't tell you goodbye Cause I know it'll hurt If I let go to you Today has been a pretty frustrating day. What was supposed to be a fun, easy day with some friends and some fights has turned into a bit of a disaster. I got to do jujitsu, so that was nice, and I got some aggression out then, but since then, things have gone awry. We were supposed to leave Monday morning to go to Disney, the happiest place on earth, but there's a hurricane heading to Disney, so we're no longer going there. Canceled our flights, canceled our plans. But okay, Ange, you still got the boys coming over, you still have fights to watch, but we don't. Either way, I'm gonna take out some aggression, and we're gonna do so on this server. This is a media server. If you don't know what a media server is, it's a movie server. I built a Plex media server. This has 40 terabytes of movies. Every movie you could ever imagine, your favorites from your childhood, all the way up to brand new releases, all in 4K, Dolby Atmos, the whole thing. I was running a whole media server, pushing movies to every TV in the house. But last year, I got hacked. I'm an idiot, I got hacked. It was entirely my fault. What happened was somebody reached out to me on Twitter saying, hey, we are a video game developer and we would love to pay for some advertisements on your website to promote our video game. So I said, great, I'm Big Ange and I'm all for meaningful partnerships and relationships. What is the game? So they send me a PDF, but the PDF doesn't open. I try to open it on my MacBook and it will not open. So then, because I'm stupid, I open it on this computer, the Plex Media Server, and I double click a PDF, and it just, nothing happens. Goes nowhere, nothing happens. So I said, all right, whatever. Send him a message, hey, that attachment's not open. Think nothing of it. A few hours later, all of a sudden, I'm getting messages from Google. Was this sign-in attempt you, you fat, stupid, dumbass slob? I said, that wasn't me. So then I go into Google to try to check it out, but my password had already been changed. And when I try to change my password back, I get messages saying, you don't have the right permissions. When I do lost password, it says validate your identity with our secure process. But somebody changed the process to needing a USB thumb drive plugged in. So clearly I was hacked. And it wasn't a hack like in the commercials. There wasn't some nerd going beep, boop, beep hacking into a mainframe somewhere. What it was was my dumbass opening a file I should not have opened. So what I need to do now to get some aggression out is drill holes into my pride and joy. This took 10 years. I had custom intros built. This was called Ange Flicks. So we would sit down and we would watch every movie you could ever want or need, movies that aren't readily available anywhere else. Took me forever to build, took even more time to maintain. And it is no longer of any use to me or anybody that I know. And because this day just will not get better, I broke a freaking drill bit. Not every day can be a good day. This one is spent. Am I gonna break another drill bit? Do I need a bigger, more powerful one? Let's just go all in on it. These are metal drill bits, three times longer life 
that barely did anything. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. No human contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. Your best bet is to stay away, motherfucker. It's just one of those days. It's all about the heat. And if that seemed dramatic to you, keep in mind, we run a YouTube business. Google owns YouTube. These hackers had access to everything. We Want Picks was shut down for three days. I didn't sleep one minute until I finally got Google to believe I was me and they restored access to my account. I have since made all the necessary changes, but that was by far one of the scariest things that happened to us in 2023. And we're gonna avoid that happening again by beating the shit out of this computer and making the changes we need to make. We are gonna try to salvage this night, and I am turning those dead birds into some jalapeno poppers. This is pretty straightforward. We're gonna core these jalapenos out. I'm gonna put a piece of the dead bird in the jalapeno. We're gonna mix it with some cream cheese and cheddar jack cheese. We're gonna wrap it in bacon, and then we're gonna go ahead and bake it. It's a pretty straightforward process. So let's go ahead and dive in. I need myself a knife, I have a spoon, and then I need a bowl to carve the guts into, and we'll just use this. I don't know if people are coming tonight. And if people are not coming, it's just gonna be me in the media room. And you're gonna see me sitting on the couch the way that I sit on the couch. What I don't need is a whole bunch of comments like I've been getting over the last few months is, oh, Angelo sits like a woman. Angelo sits very feminine. Why does he sit like that? So we're not gonna get those comments. You're gonna let Angelo sit and be comfortable in his house the way that he wants to sit and be comfortable in his own house because I'm an adult and I'm gonna be cozy. So now let's get that out of the way. Cut these in half. You can see when you cut them, there's all the spicy on the inside here. So we are gonna carve that out. We don't need to carve all of it out, but we'll carve a good chunk out so it's not insane. I'm only making 10 of these, actually 20. There's 10 jalapenos. So we'll make 20 of these just because a, we didn't get an enormous amount of birds. And B, I don't know how many people are coming, so I don't wanna waste all these when I can save up for the end of the year and then we could do a big one, all the neighbors. So we've got the jalapenos cleaned and cored. This is what they look like. If you want it spicier, then leave more guts. It's that simple. The guts are what makes the spice, the seeds, the insides. I don't want it that spicy. So you'll get a rogue seed or two, a little bit of guts, but nothing crazy. So these are cored. The next step is I'm gonna cut up this dove breast so that it can fit. And if we take a look here, you watched me rip these apart in the field. Here is one whole dove breast. We're gonna cut it in half. So now we have two dove breasts and we want it to fit in here. So depending on the shape of the jalapeno, I'm gonna take my dove breast, we'll put it in here, we'll wrap it with some bacon, we'll stuff it with the cheese. But so now we're gonna cut the dove breast so that it fits and then we'll get the rest of these pieces going. Why are you filming, to make fun of me? Okay, the ladies wanna help because you can't do anything in this house in peace without somebody oh, getting in your business. Yeah, it smells like spicy pepper. All right, we've cut up our dove breast. We've got our jalapenos going. This is just room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese. So what we're gonna do is take this cream cheese, throw it in this now cleaned bowl. Avery, if it's gross, don't help. Why are you throwing the trash in the sink? Because that's how we're doing it, man. Here, let me do it. It's very mushy. Let me do it. Here, get get another bowl so you guys don't fight over who does what. Get another bowl, you each do your own. Anybody watching this who has kids knows exactly what I'm dealing with right now. But she got more than me. How come she gets all the cheese? But I didn't stir it yet. All right, we're adding cheese. Here's a whole bunch. Well, eat it, cheese cheese eat it from your mixed bowl. Actually, don't eat it from that bowl. It's probably gonna be spicy in there. 
Take your spoons, mix it all up, mash it up real good. Mash, mash, smush, I know, I know, smush, I while I get seasoning. I'm cheese well, don't. While the junior rats are mixing, I'm gonna add some holy voodoo from Meat Church. It's a little spicy. Ew. But these are spicy jalapenos. Mix it up good. Don't breathe it in, they'll burn you. All right, you girls done yet? It's taking way too long. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Okay, stop. You're done. You're both done. You're done. You're done. You didn't do any mixing at all. Look at this, just loose cheese everywhere. What were you doing this whole time? Okay. All right, girls, kick rocks. No, okay, That's it, the rest we have to touch spicy things. Okay, okay. No, 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 go. Okay. No. Okay, the girls did their best attempt at mixing that together. So now what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna put these on the grill. I don't feel like starting a grill just to make these. If we we're doing a whole thing, that's different, but we're not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some foil and coat this. That just helps with cleanup. Then we are going to take our mixture, smear it in here, throw a little dove on top, wrap it in a little bit of bacon. So let's get this coated, let's get the bacon opened, and then we'll start that process. Spray it with some nonstick just to make sure we don't ruin any of this and have it stick into the pan. That is good. Let's get this bad boy open. We're good on the bacon, and we're just gonna start wrapping. You can go thick cut or regular cut, depends how much bacon you like. Depends what flavor bacon you want too. You wanna go honey maple, nice and sweet bacon. You wanna go thick, you wanna go smoky, whatever you want. We're gonna take, let's start with a bigger one to make it look easier. We've got our cord jalapeno. That's way too much filling. We'll just make it level. We will grab an appropriate size dove breast. Push it in nice, wrap it in a piece of bacon. Maybe we need two. We're gonna go ahead, stick it, keep it together, and we're good. Here's one. We're gonna load this up, throw it in the oven, and I'm actually forgetting how long these should be in the oven for. Uh, I normally do it on the grill. Let's call my catfish and see if he knows. Hello? Oh, is this James Kuyu? Yeah, who's this? Yeah, listen, I'm making um, these dove poppers, but I'm doing them in the oven instead of the grill. Your dad did them in the oven, right? Yeah, yeah, did them in the oven. Yeah, what's the temperature, though? And how long, do you remember? Uh, I think he did it for about uh, 325, and you just gotta keep an eye on. Was it, did it, was it like a half hour, an hour, 20 minutes? What was the general? Yeah, I, I, I wanna do more than 30. Okay, all right, cool, thank you. Good luck to you. All right, see ya. So we're good, I've got these done. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, because I threw one jalapeno out because it was a little rotted on the side and I didn't look close enough at the grocery store. We're gonna get this oven at 325. I had to call my biggest troll ever to find out that temperature. I normally do it on the grill, I haven't done it in the oven. I've got a couple of leftover dove parts. We have a bunch of leftover filling and that's because I had to do two for the girls so they wouldn't fight. But we're just gonna keep this because tomorrow's football Sunday, so I'll probably make some more for the boys tomorrow. But for now, let's get this in the oven, let's get that cranked up, and let's get ready to go because it is five o'clock and these fights start in a half an hour. Walk up in the morning and put on my jacket. I told my baby mama about to go trapping. She said, keep a save, just stay back. I walk up in the morning and I'm going trapping. This day got a little beyond me. Went a little faster than I thought it would. Going to jujitsu unplanned actually threw me off as well. So we don't have the normal full blown mail day. I wasn't able to go to the post office today. I did not get the latest young LA drop, but we will have that in a few weeks for UFC 308. I did, however, go to the mailbox the other day with the girls. And this was waiting for us. This is from WTNB in the Discord. That is what's the next bet. Let's see what we got here. Seems like a poster that was not in the tube, so it's a bit folded. Oh, we got a Noche UFC poster. It's very unfortunate this was folded. A Noche UFC poster. 
Looks like there's two of them, one for me, one for Jakey Boy. This was probably intended to be delivered. Yeah, this was shipped September 10th, but this didn't get delivered until you can see here, 920. But this is a really sweet poster. Thanks for sending this. I'll see if I can flatten this out, get rid of these. I mean, it wasn't in a tube, so the post office really gives no shits and just went badoop to this, but this is a cool poster, we appreciate it. I also appreciate how active you are in the Discord, how reasonable of a human you are. Listen, there's not a lot of reasonable people out there. There's a lot of out of control basement dwellers. You happen to be a very normal, reasonable person who could take a joke, give a joke. You really make the Discord uh, more lively, so I appreciate that, I appreciate this. I'm gonna see if I can get these wrinkles out of here, I'll give Jakey Boy his, and thank you so much. If you guys wanna send something, if you have a small business you want featured, or a product that's really cool that you wanna show to people, send it over, we'll open it, we'll do all the things, I'll get to the mail in time. I've been checking far more often, I just wasn't able to get there today, unfortunately, but thank you, WTNB, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the Discord. You started it? All right, let's get these out. Come on, you tall enough to show what this looks like? Move over here and show what it looks like. Here, I'll hold it, don't touch. Here we go. They're looking pretty good. All right, put the camera back on me. Up, 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 there we go. They're looking pretty good. They could probably use another minute or two to get the bacon crispy, but we're gonna leave this alone. I don't wanna make a mess of it. You can see, <laughs> good job. You can see the, the filling pours out in some cases, but let's go ahead and put this down, let it cool off, and then we'll eat them. Is your hand covering the camera? No. All right, shut it off. I just watched the Carlos Barza Tisha Torres fight. First of all, good on UFC for having the montage ready for Carlos Barza. She's a legend. Second of all, I was all over Tisha this week. At the best, she got a 29-28. A 30-27 is absolutely insane. And honestly, I think Carla Sparza won that fight. I think she won the first round, stole the third. Should be a 29-28 for a Sparza. But they gave Tisha a 30-27. So you have the luxury of knowing what happens the rest of this night. I don't, but we might be in for it. Also, that crowd was so mad that they gave the decision to Tisha. They booed her dead grandmother. She was my grandmother died of breast cancer. They were boo. I don't think it was for the cancer. We're getting the Caesar Almeida decision. We should be good, at least at 29-28. But after that wild scorecard for Esparza, who knows? Caesar? All right, we're good there. Safety parlay hit, nothing to brag about because I missed the last few, but we are good there. This was a wild fight. I'll do a full recap later, and you've already seen that recap by the time you're seeing this, but that ref was wild. I think DC said refing at elevation. That was a perfect way to say it. Four eye pokes, a nut shot, getting moved off the cage after five seconds. That was wild, but I'll take a win any way I can get a win. And Caesar won that fight no matter what. So either way, we're good there. Safety part of the hit, sigh of relief for the big man. All right, wasn't cooking. So we got some P.F. Chang's takeout. We got some sticky ribs. This was a sushi roll until they treated it like a soccer ball and some big egg rolls. And I need this to stay awake so I can film the recap for you people. Joaquin Buckley with the come from behind knockout. So far doing pretty well in the bets. Let's head upstairs, take this main card to the meet room. Right, we are kicking off the main card. We've got Kayla Harrison taking on Ketlin Vieira and I've got Big Ange taking on a box of goobers and a Topo Chico with a lime twist. And you guys in the Discord have been obsessed for some reason with my candy situation. And I get it, right now it's just me plowing boxes of candy. There's usually people here, we got guests, the candy's for the guests. Don't tell me how to live in my own house. It's fucking crazy. Come sit. The microphone. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys heard that. She walked in and said, you do sit gay. I sit comfortable in my own home. You're not a big, strong man like me. The chick with the black shorts is the best judo practitioner of all time. In America. Man or woman. Oh, 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 boom. Oh, round one, Kayla. Oh, Bo's here. I wasn't even standing there. I had no idea. Gossip, gossip, nigga, just stop it. Everybody know I'm a motherfucking monster. I'm a need...
What a po you seven. didn't show up with a random assortment of beers? <laughs> I just came from salsa. Oh. Ketlin's doing nothing. Like, look at her. Ketlin is big, though. She's huge, and she relies on being big. She's fighting this as smart as she could fight it. She's not using her own judo. She's not trying to be a bully. Yeah. But she's also not doing shit. This is probably going to... Pro oh, nice. The, we might get a finish out of those kicks. Right she's probably not going to get a title shot off of this. You know what I mean? Like, her whole thing it's is... Not dominant. She'll win at 30-27, but it's like... Right. You were a minus whatever the hell. Yes. What took so long? Yeah. No, there's not a... What's the 29-28? No like, what's the... Who, what round do you Inter give? I love Twizzler Bites. People hate these things. I love Twizzler Bites. The bites? Oh, I love oh, Twizzler Bites. I like them better than regular Twizzlers. <laughs> yeah. All for taste. They're better than regular Twizzlers. It's a different taste. They're the same taste as the peel Twizzlers. Remember the peel Twizzlers? The they're, the, they're the same. Yeah, they're the, the same, same taste. Same texture as the old ones. Correct. Flavor of the new ones. <laughs> Correct. Dude, Roman's back is hairy as shit. That's what I'm saying. Like he didn't do anything. It's not even just his chest. No, it's literally a sweater vest. Like, yeah. It goes over the top of the shoulder and connects to the chest. Dude, that's a lot. Roman might just get dotted up this whole time. <laughs> if he doesn't throw, I mean. It's throw big and get it to the ground, right? I mean, That's what he should be doing, but he's not throwing. Oh, oh, well, boom. He can stay here for as long as he wants now. He, he should be able to do literally whatever he wants to do here. He's done. He's done. Something happened. He hurt something. His shoulder's fucked. Something happened. Something happened. Why is he covering like I think his shoulder got fucked up. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Jeez. You can stop the fight, Rogan. Shut up. He's yelling. He just ate an elbow on the... Oh, dude, he's yelling at him. What is he saying? I don't know. Yeah, dude, he's on his back, up. eating elbows, yelling. Well, I'm like, why does he never roll to his back here? He's hurt. I, we got to see what like, happened. Most people roll to his... He put his arm... Back at some point. <laughs> he broke his oh. rib. Some kind of body shot. His rib's broken. continue. <laughs> Don't fucking, I think said, so. I don't know. I think so. What caused it? Yeah, let's find out. Oh, he just, he's it just, it just right popped, it's yeah. Torquing. You think he just tore, I mean, it's not a break. I don't know. Probably like, you think he tore some of the connective tissue between the ribs? Probably, because if, if the rib I mean, is popping. That pop can be super painful too. He was not a black belt? Did he get a stripe or something? Was he not a black belt? No, you can see the ribs sticking out. See? It's gotta be some kind of like dislocation or something. Not fracture. Like there's no impact. I'll take it. Mario Batista got in his face immediately. No, he's pressuring. He's pressuring. I mean, that's what you gotta do. Mario shooting takedowns is stupid as fuck. Ooh. Oh, that's the first like really. And he swung on it. Uh, I mean, he's losing. Jose's losing this round. Yeah, yeah. No, it's right. He swung on it. Oh, okay. Jose will bang 10-9 if Mario keeps his pace, but I'm rooting for Jose, man. Just walk his ass down. Problem is, eventually he's going to look old. He doesn't necessarily look old yet. Literally just a tiny bit slower than Mario right now. I mean, how much younger is Mario? Looking? I didn't see what the age was. Maybe 31, yeah, so 10 years. Like, realistically, it's probably... Yeah. A decade. Oh, he's cut bad. Holy shit, where'd that come from? Happen? Oh, big knee. Dude, he's big about knee. to finish him. Big knee. He's kind of holding on dramatically. Jose, uh, man. Uh-oh. This is, this is turning into a really Yeah, let's run. go, Jose. Lost the first round, Especially clearly winning this one. Into his eye. Oh, that, he, oh. He's not slowing down. This is getting interesting. Oh, oh Batista. Why are you shooting takedowns? Down. Yeah. He's got the greatest takedown defense in the history of this sport. Like, oh. oh. There. Second round's been a war. Aldo's fighting for I don't it, too. Who's winning this one? Aldo. You have to give Aldo this round. Probably Cut him on this won. round. Defended takedowns. Big exchanges. Probably fans won. cheering. See, he's not even trying to finish those takedowns. That literally was just to get him against the cage. 
to Mario Batista was having oh not a takedown. Mario Batista was having a ton of success striking in this round, but went to the cage wrestling anyway. Maybe he said, I've had enough success, now I can just win by grinding this out because I can stay here for the rest I mean, it should be 1-1 coming into this round. Two minutes left, we'll see. The problem with this game plan is one 30-second exchange at the end of the round could win the round for Jose. Or you could have a ref that would break it up, yeah. like so. He went right to it. That's so funny. Instantly shot. Instantly. <laughs> the ref's like, break. That's so, so funny. Aldo, Fuck like, you, ref. Jose's a dog, dude. This, I could see it just because of what it is. I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to Jose. If they gave it to Jose, I'm not pissed at it. Jose. Ah. Oh. Man. Tactical start. Oh, dude, this is going to be the worst fight we've ever seen. Juliana Pena is just so unlikable. Raquel Pena is just going to do this and then try to get Juliana against the cage. And that's it. I should go take a nap and wake me up when this shit's over. Cut them both. It is going to be a struggle to stay awake for this one. If I was drinking, I'd be asleep. Remember I used to fall asleep in the old house? <laughs> every every pay-per-view, I would just There's fall asleep. Definitely video of me somewhere falling asleep. Who needs coherence? I don't think the viewer shows up. Tiff, what are you doing, Tiff? <laughs> Taking close-up pictures of my feet. Who are you sending them to? That bag, the pads of your feet really are strong. I walk a lot. That's a very positive way to put it. Yeah, I walk a lot. The obsession with my feet is crazy. These are working man's feet. Somebody tweeted Pena landed more in the first round. What'd she do? Night, night. I mean, what the fuck is she doing? Pena's doing literally nothing. Or sorry, Pennington. She's just accepting like, oh, I'm on my back. All right. One each. Yeah. Juliana Pena's got to let her hands go, dude. Just bomb away. What's this bitch going to do? Dude, Pennington just looks... Wildly unprepared for any of these grappling exchanges. It's crazy. Man, that's a weird sequence. She tapping. Fuck it. And just end it. She's about to tap. I'll lose my bet. Just she fucking end it. it right. She's gonna break her. Nah, oh, no, she she's out. The elbow. Damn, dude. Two one. Two one. Not enough for a ten eight in that one. No. Oh, uh, now she's game. now she's moving. I mean, she can still win this fight. Yeah. <gasps> of course. That was big. That rocked her. Stay on the bitch. Oh, Damn, Pena's, Pena's all she dog. Answer a little power. Pena's all dog. Oh! oh. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, and she just, oh, she's on her bicycle. She's her so neck. tough. Oh, my God. She's so tough. All right, she took this round. One more round. Don't choke? Nah, she's not oh, going to. Oh, she grabbed her leg. She's not going to choke her here. It's actually stupid to be fucking with this choke right now. You're going to. She gonna... should just be pounding her head. She's so fucking dumb. Oh, just I don't, she's so fucking she dumb. Come on, walk her down. Walk her down. Like what is she worried about? Pena has no back. power. You defended the takedown. She's starting to fade. Walk her dumbass. Boom. Oh. All nice. Right. Big All right. round for in there. One more like that, and we'll take this like, three to two. Two one probably. Two one. Fuck. Oh, he dropped her. What the fuck does Tiffany need? Big right. What do you need? You're texting me saying I need you. Oh, there's a cricket in the bathroom. Fuck out of here, a cricket. Fucking called me downstairs during a fucking pay-per-view to kill a cricket. What a fucking joke. There's no cricket. Oh, that thing's gonna make noise in the middle of the night too. All right, let's go, Pena. March. I was hoping it was something nice. No, there's a cricket in the bathroom. Kayla Harrison will 100% be the champion of this weight class. Without question. These bitches suck. I don't know. I had too many fights. Oh, nice. Come on, Penny. Throw your fucking hands. Throw, goddammit. And to think I quit on her two rounds ago. I was like, just submit her and get this over with. If she gets this decision, that's a great comeback. To lose two rounds back to back like that, 
<laughs> Let's just hope we don't get fucked. It all comes down to the first round. The last four were pretty, pretty straightforward. And the first was crazy close. Split. Split. Jesus. And new. And new. Bad decision. That's a bad decision. It's the least impressive, too. That's a bad decision. That's crazy, dude. All right, let's go. Main event. We just got screwed in the co-main event. We probably don't need the judges. What is up with Ramsey? What is on his nose? Damn. Oh. Whoa. Man, he was not scared of the takedown. What a wild that. first move was a fucking teep kick to the face. Dude, Khalil's going to sleep him. Khalil? Dude, Khalil just connected with a clean left like he didn't even try. Dude, this is, honestly, anytime Khalil throws a straight left, it connects. Dude, people are just acting like, oh, Khalil, oh, but he's just going to get steamrolled. It's like, Khalil's oh. good. But Hayda's holding his hands, too, like he's worried about what might come back. Oh, he backed up Khalil there. You saw that? Yep. He cracked him, and yep. Khalil just backed oh. up. The left hook just affected it after the right. I mean, Khalil's tough. He's, he's still... Well, this is dangerous for Alex. Cause yeah, come rushing one, in. One real good one coming back, and you're done. Oh. Oh. He went for it, but kind of caught one. Did Alex get dropped, or did he trip? I don't know how much that... Blow Dude, he just him. immediately started moving forward, so it's hard to tell. I hope every idiot that was commenting all week, it's a bullshit fight, Khalil's a gimme. I hope you are fucking sweating, just refusing to see the obvious. Dude, he just ate a fucking head kick. Yeah. Dude, Alex is, it's one to one or 0 oh and 2. He lost that round. Dude, if I'm his corner, I'm, I'm chop those legs. Chop his legs, chop his legs, chop his legs, chop his legs. Ooh. To, to Al Alex is going to lose this fight, man. He's going to get slept. Golly. He's too hittable. He's going to get slept. Way too hittable. But Alex is, like, landing, and we're all going, like, ooh. But, like, it's not. It doesn't seem to be as devastating. <laughs> they literally told him no more head kicks. <laughs> and he fucking threw a head kick and almost Thank ate a massive you. left. Throw a fucking another leg kick, dude. Uh, Khalil's fading. Alex might pull this off. Alex has great killer instinct, dude. No, he ain't gonna slow down. Come on, come on. Finish his ass against the cage. Bomb no. for bomb. Oh, good knee. Throw it, throw good it, knee. plumb him. Plumb his ass. Look at Alex just standing there. Just as far knee. forward as he can be. They had to tell him to back up. Khalil, hands on his hips. Alex just two steps forward, hands up. Love it. Oh. Oh, he oh, fucking oh, sent and it. He threw the kick with it. His face starting to open up. Oh, the eye above's cut. Khalil's tough as oh, fuck, though. Look at him go. Wow. Khalil's a man. What a war. Khalil is a man. Oh, the knee. Come on. Oh, it was fast. Too. Finish his ass. Dude. Right oh, my God, dude. It, it, I, it's going to start hanging. It already is. I think. They're going to stop this for that cut. Oh, God, it is hanging. Yeah, like, you see, keep on seeing flashes of it. That's the skin. That's the inside of his eye. Oh, he's hitting with, like, an uppercut that stuns him for a second. Let's go. Let's go, Allie. Oh. Let's go, Allie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. That was big. Come on, baby. He's throwing big Come on, baby. Now. God, Boof. look at his face. Oh, he's quitting. He's look quitting. His face. You got to throw it back. Yeah, okay. Boof. Oh my goodness. Dude, stop yeah, it, you can Rev. See the top of that right eyelid just Good for Alex. For, dude, look at his gloves. They're not even gold anymore. Oh my goodness. Good for Alex for not just all charging the, recklessly. All of a sudden, all the traffic's going one way. Dude, a minute and a half left. Look how close he is to him. Goodness, what's he trying to get off? He might be tired and he's just he not shown. Like he's doing that dance that he does. Yeah. When he comes <laughs> yeah. Yes. Throw. Oh. Oh. Jesus. He ate one on the way Ooh. in, though. Look at these guys. Khalil wants out. Khalil's like, just do a five-punch combo. I'll turn my head and let the ref stop it. What is that grabbing my shorts? Oh, he's just hitting my uppercut. Dude, Alex is like showing mercy. 
Is he or is he just being I don't like, know. He's not like Oh. Done. Oh. He's done. Oh, Jesus. All right, he's throwing back. Back up, Alex. Oh, and Alex is just wearing it. He's just like, all right, it's not going to be enough. Dude, there's 30 something seconds left. Alex just said, oh. oh body. Oh, it was a body. <laughs> oh, and he said something to him. Oh, dude, I picked the perfect card if Rocky body. doesn't get fucked. If Rocky doesn't get fucked. Go to the body right there. Love it. Holy shit. Dude, he was down. I got to see the scorecard. He was down two rounds. I can believe that. That was the third round. No, that was the fourth. That was the fourth. He was down two rounds, won the third, and finished in the fourth. Holy shit. Bo just left. UFC 307 just ended. And overall, it was actually just an okay card. The co-main event was better than we thought. The main event delivered. It took a little while to get going, but that main event delivered. And it's always nice to top off an event with a solid main event. So we go to bed with a good feeling. It doesn't feel like, eh, just okay. That felt like a very good card. I'm about to film the recap video. It's, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna film that recap, get to bed, wake up, and film the UFC Vegas 98 breakdown. I had a phenomenal night. I went 11 and one on picks, and the only pick I missed was that bullshit Raquel Pennington decision, but we'll talk about that in the recap guys. Thank you so much for watching these. I know the vlogs are different. I know they're not the normal breakdown content. So I appreciate every last one of you that watched these, especially if you stuck around this long. We appreciate you all and thank you for 30,000.